Good evening. A water alert tonight out of St. John Parish, where a portion of their water system, not including Laplace, tested positive for Nagleria falleri, more commonly known as a brain eating amoeba, the same amoeba that led to the death of a four year old boy in St. Bernard Parish one year ago. Parish President Natalie Robottom held a news conference earlier tonight on what exactly is being done to address the safety concerns there. WDSU reporter Andy Cunningham was at that news conference and has more from Rosetta. The parish received confirmation late this afternoon from officials with DHH, and immediately action was taken by parish officials to alert the affected residents. With regard to residents, the water is safe to drink, it is safe to bathe in. However, there are precautions. The concern is that the water goes up your nose. Parish President Natalie Robottom warning residents of St. John Water District Number 1. Or about 12,000 of the parish's residents who live in Reserve, Garyville, and Mount Airy, after testing by the Department of Health and Hospitals, revealed chlorine levels in the western portion of the parish's system were below the state minimum. Samples taken two weeks ago. The reason we're just being notified today about the amoeba is there's a, an incubation time. So the test results, uh, based on their sampling two weeks ago, returned today and identified that there uh, was a problem with the amoeba. Acting out of an abundance of caution, parish leaders began flushing additional chlorine through the system even before Wednesday's test results returned. And those efforts are ongoing. Our parish uh, chlorine residual of 0.5 is required throughout the system. And in order to make sure that um, that reaches all the ends of the lines, we will begin that chlorine burn in the morning. That burn will last for 60 days, and residents may notice a change in the smell and taste of the water. You're not too worried about it? No, I'm not worried about it. I don't ever worry about nothing, something like this. It's surprising. And I'm actually I'm worried more about my dogs than anybody else, you know, because, you know, whenever they lap up water, the water goes all over their face. So Either way, Roe Bottom said officials will continue flushing the lines and taking daily samples to ensure no one comes in contact with the deadly parasite. Again, we're taking every uh, step necessary to relieve St. John Water District Number One of that threat, and we will continue to do so until all is clear. And parish officials say everyone in the affected area will be receiving additional information on this kind of amoeba and the precautions you should take either by mail or hand delivery in the coming days. Reporting on your side from Reserve, I'm Andy Cunningham, WDSU News. And here's some tips now on how to deal with the Nagleria falleri amoeba. Experts say you can protect yourself by not letting water go up your nose. Do not jump into the bathtub or put your head underwater in the tub. And supervise children who are playing with hoses or sprinklers. Also, run the bath water for five minutes before getting in. If you have a pool, make sure you disinfect it. To hear these tips again, you can call this number in St. John Parish, 985 652 2222. That is the emergency operations center there. All right, we're tracking the tropics now as we turn to weather.